Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything. As long as we use logic and common sense. In Season 4, we learned a few basic definitions for some real virtues. And this season, we'll be trying to pin down the real meanings of some things that people treat like virtues, which aren't always virtuous. In other words, fake virtues. Today's fake virtue is nonviolence. What's really troubling about nonviolence is that it should be a virtue of one kind or another. After all, peace is a fruit of the spirit, and everyone agrees that violence is the opposite of peace, so, in a literal sense, nonviolence should mean the opposite of violence. In other words, nonviolence should be the same thing as peace, and should therefore always be virtuous. The problem is, I've never heard the word nonviolence used that way, and I think this stems from the confusion that also surrounds the word peace in the modern world. As we said in episode 43, two mistaken ideas of peace have floated around, lack of fighting and concordance. However, as we also said, it's impossible to reconcile these definitions with the biblical notion of peace the way it's described. You might think that nonviolence would have basically the same problem, but the truth is, it's worse than that. The word nonviolence came into being when both of these mistaken definitions of peace were already firmly entrenched in society, to the exclusion of the real definition. Therefore, the definition of violence was taken to mean not being out of conformity with God's will, but merely fighting and using force. Because of this, in every situation I've ever heard the word used, nonviolence has meant exclusively lack of fighting or force, and this is not a virtue in the least. The use of force and fighting is sometimes needed in defense of the innocent or to protect good from evil. Look at the way Jesus used force to drive the money changers out of the temple, or the way God, through Moses, used force to convince Pharaoh to release the Israelites from slavery. Closer to our own time, look at D-Day, or the Civil War that put an end to legal slavery in modern America. I don't think anybody would claim that these acts were unjustified. In fact, in a larger sense, every time a policeman arrests somebody for murder, or extortion, or bribing public officials, this is a justified use of force in defense of the good. Peace, properly understood, is always virtuous and a good thing. However, that's totally different from nonviolence. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.